What's going on, Facebook family? So I have been doing a lot of things behind the scenes. I've been showing up on social media via post and things like that, but not doing too much video because I have been working on Quinn, the personal brand. Many of you know me for my great bag business, The Purse Paparazzi, which I love and adore with all my heart. However, I have been neglecting a, another child of mine that I love so dearly as well. So in 2019, I had made a promise to myself, hey, Freddie, um, to really come forth with that. Hey, sis, and do that. So if you are an entrepreneur, thank you so much for following me. Hey, DeAndrea, we so need to catch up. Um, this is message is for you. So I know that there is a lot of buzz and there is a lot of talk about entrepreneurs having a entrepreneurship, whether it's your full-time gig or if it's your part-time gig. Hey, Darren. Hey, Takia. Hey, Chris. So many people that I love jumping on. Um, and we talk about having a side hustle and we talk about either doing your business part-time. There are so many people who are doing their business part-time who want to go full-time. And there are some people who are full-time thinking to themselves, why the hell did I go full-time? I should have stayed with my job getting it every two weeks. However, if you are an entrepreneur, a small business owner, and you are full-time or either part-time and you are looking for additional income, because let's be real, those checks don't come every two weeks the way that it used to do when you worked a full-time job, you need to have a side hustle. Now, I know that you may be thinking, Quinn, how does that even work? Because most of the time, entrepreneurship, that is my side hustle, or hmm, doesn't that kind of contradict being an entrepreneur? Well, I am here to tell you that yes, entrepreneurs should absolutely have a side hustle. And a side hustle for me that I've been doing for a while, I didn't even realize that it was a side hustle, but it was definitely bringing in money. It was bringing in customers to my purse business. It was really kind of giving me an influence and an impact that I really didn't sign up for, but I'm super grateful for. So I know you're probably thinking at this point, Quinn, what in the heck is this side hustle that every entrepreneur should have? Well, I am going to tell you right here, right now, it is public speaking, speaking however you want to claim it. For a very long time, I have put myself in the speaker box or either in the entrepreneur box. But when I decided to marry them, because at one point they were dating each other, I'm like, no, 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 I really need to fuse this together. That is when I really decided to grow my business and it grew without even much effort because it just kind of happened hey yolanda hey jasmine oh my gosh so many of my favorite people jumping on right now but yes speaking is the ultimate entrepreneur side hustle let me explain i have won thirty four thousand dollars speaking about my business and business pitch competitions i have attracted customers i'm talking about women who say to me quinn i don't even like purses but the way you talk about your business the way you speak about your business business, you know, it got me at least interested. So speaking can be used as either you are full time because some of you on here are definitely speakers. Um, but I believe that if you're an entrepreneur, you need to add speaking to your business as either an income stream, a marketing strategy, or even a way to fund your business. I have done all three. So when I began to think about how I really wanted to go forward in 2019 and how I really wanted to supplement my income with bag business, speaking was already right there. It was like I was treating it like it's an ugly-headed stepchild. So now I am officially merging the two, inviting speaking into the family, embracing it, giving it a hug, and saying, yes, you are welcome. Because if you're an entrepreneur, speaking goes hand in hand, but you'd be surprised how many people consider themselves just an entrepreneur, just an author, just a coach, and don't realize that your ability to speak, to communicate, is really what's going to bring people into your business. So if you're not already incorporating a speaking strategy into your business as an entrepreneur, it is all good. 2019 is a great time to actually start that so you want to do that you want to add speaking now I'm not saying going out there and ask people for a whole bunch of honorariums but think about if you are currently speaking or you're getting requested to speak how can you maximize that opportunity because once you're in front of people that is a great way to grow your email list I mean the benefits of speaking in your business goes on and on and on and I'll get into the details about how you can do that and leverage speaking and how you can add speaking as an income stream or a marketing strategy a little bit later 
later. But I just really wanted you as an entrepreneur who's currently listening to this to understand that even if you're fearful of speaking, improve your public speaking skills, polish your public speaking skills, but be very intentional in 2019 about adding speaking to your business as either a number one, again, an income stream, a marketing strategy, or a revenue source. So Geraldine says, yes, public speaking, absolutely agree. I do that now and I speak about my story and get paid. Yes, I'm telling you, your story, your business, like just because you started a business, people are gonna wanna know your business journey. What are some things that you've learned? What are some of your success? What are some advice would you give to other entrepreneurs just starting out? All of that can be monetized some way or maximized some way somehow. So I'm not allowed, I know a lot of speakers are want to get paid up front, but there's so many other ways to profit from public speaking than just collecting an honorarium. That is one way, but there's so many ways to leverage your voice, your story, your experience as an entrepreneur that people want to hear that. People want to hear how you, you know, were four months pregnant. This is my story and quit my full-time job to be like, you know what? I want to jump into full entrepreneurship full-time. They want to know how I use speaking to get me to the second round of Shark Tank three times. People really want to know what you have to say and it's very valuable and I really want you in 2019 to be very intentional about adding speaking to your business and really sharing your story with others because what you went through could be the breakthrough that you need. Sabrina says she's scared. I know. So that's the flip side of it. I will be very real with you. I know that public speaking is the number one fear of all Americans. Matter of fact, 75% of adults fear public speaking. But this is what I believe. I believe that no one... No one should go to the grave with a million dollar business idea inside of them because they're afraid to speak up. And if you are afraid to speak in front of people, then number one, I can help you with that. Number two, there's so many courses and classes out there that help you improve or polish your public speaking skills. So 2019 is the year to get it done. I know that we're pretty much in February, but there's still some people out there who are kind of got some stuff from 2018 left over. And now it's time to really kind of move forward. So if you are scared, don't worry, I got you. Um, Technically, I'm a corporate trainer, so I speak for a living. All right, this is what you just be. Uh, hold on, Ernest, I got to open this up a little bit. This will just be an evolution. Right, and Ernest, you're a good speaker too. So you can even speak to other people who want to go into corporate training. That's something that I'm looking into. I would love to work with leaders and managers and supervisors and helping them improve their public speaking skills. So you, Ernest, can get paid. Like that can be your, your full time. Honestly, that can be your full-time earnest, being a corporate trainer, and your part-time, you can teach other entrepreneurs how to be corporate trainers. Yo, that's like a money-making idea. Like, you don't even have to invoice me. That's just my love for you on how you can really leverage that. Lakia, yes. Hey, girl. I'm talking to you as well. So, I, like I said, I've been cooking in the lab. I have been really working on a couple of different things, and I just really believe in my heart and soul that speaking, public speaking, being a great communicator, a powerful person presenter is the foundation for being a successful entrepreneur because at the end of the day nobody cares how great your product or service is if you can't speak about it talk about it communicate it in a way that's clear concise and compelling you will lose business every single time so your ability to communicate as an entrepreneur is going to be the gateway to get those high paying customers to get those people who really want to invest in what you have to say so my challenge, my charge to you, Hey Quan, in 2019 is to really, really look at how you can incorporate speaking into your business, either as a revenue stream, uh, a marketing strategy, or just using Facebook Lives or podcasts to really communicate and connect with an audience who really wants to hear what you have to say. Your insight, your experience, your point of view is so valuable. And there are other entrepreneurs and speakers out there ready and willing to hear what you have to say, but they don't know because you're not telling them. So again, speaking is the entrepreneur's ultimate side hustle. If you're not currently doing it, add it. If you need some help, inbox me and I definitely can let you know. So if you love this and you thought it was really, really good information, uh, I want you to type in the comments, loved all of this. If you're catching the replay, say replay, but either or, that is what I want you to do. That is my goal for you in 2019, to make speaking your ultimate side hustle. Talk to you soon.